there are principles of, of, of earnings in Sharia. So accounting is a very risky profession. <laughs> you know, because you know, there is a smoke of interest everywhere, isn't it? They are wasting money in lots of things, but they do not share that wealth with the poor and the needy. There is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on top of zakat as well. Do you accept zakat money? No, it's a masjid. Zakat is not used in the construction. But why are you, if you Allah Ta'ala has given you, why are you even asking this question? We need to think about, you know, about the blessings and we need to have trust in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, have that tawakkul. That is also necessary to have tawakkul, to have that trust, that reliance. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Allah Ta'ala says, only these people are believers. That's it, full stop. Innama, this innama is for something called hasar. It confines that definition into this and that's it. Innama al mu'minun, who are the believers? They are only these. Ida dhukir Allahu wajilat kulubuhum. When Allah Ta'ala is mentioned, their hearts tremble with love, with fear. Wa tuliyat alayhim ayatuhu zaadatuhum imana. And when the ayat, the verses of Allah are recited to, to in front of them, it increases their iman. Their iman gets increased. وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And they have absolute reliance on their Rabb, on their Lord. Absolute reliance. Tawakkul, yaar. Where is our tawakkul? I'm talking to myself. You need to have, you know when one of the duas of my hajj was for myself, it said, Ya Allah, give, make me a person of tawakkul. Make me a person of tawakkul. Ya Allah, make me a person who rely on you, who, who, whose heart is always content and satisfied with, with your decisions that Ya Allah, inshallah, you will always decide good for me and I trust in you, I do whatever I, want, I can do and then I trust in you, Ya Allah, make me such a person who is never worried and concerned about future. La khawfun alayhi. This is, was one of the duas that I made. May Allah accept it. Say Ameen. May Allah Ta'ala make us all people of tawakkul. Ameen. So please, we need to understand this. And last but not the least. When Allah Ta'ala is al-Muqeed, He is the one who provides quth. He is the one who provides sustenance. Who is creates it, provides it. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala also wants us that we get that quth, that sustenance, that provision in the right way. As I said that the sunnah of Allah Ta'ala is that we make an effort and then we make dua and then Allah Ta'ala provides it. He's al-Muqeed. But we have to do all what Allah Ta'ala wants us to do. And that thing has to be done in the way that Allah Ta'ala has told us to do. And that's a long topic. I won't cover that. But please make sure that we are earning, we are choosing to earn in the way that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has asked us to, uh, to work or to earn money. There are principles of, of, of earnings in Shariat. We have to have the right jobs. Make sure that we are not cheating on people. We are honest on people. We are working with honesty. We are not jealous of people. We are not trying to pull legs of people and in our work and stuff like that. We are not into any sort of interest. We are not working for conventional banks and sitting not dealing with interest directly. Prophet, Prophet ﷺ said, one who gives interest, who takes interest, and who becomes the mediator. I'm just giving the, 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 the rough meaning of that. Who becomes the means. They're all the same. So we are not into that. Accounting is a very risky profession. <laughs> You know, because you know, there is a smoke of interest everywhere, isn't it? 
there is some gobar, there is some dust of interest, but that's a serious thing. We have to be very careful. So there is no interest involved. There is, there is, uh, the, the businesses that we are doing are also according to the principles of Sharia. Guys, make sure that if you're doing business, you have learned the Islamic principles of business. You know what forex trading is. You know what drop shipping is. You know, right, how to buy and sell. What is allowed, what is not allowed. Only then the barakat will come in that provision because that will be the halal provision. That will be the sound proof, the, the, the right provision. And then make dua. And secondly, is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives all of you and all of us, inshallah, then there is a right, there is the is a right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we make sure that we also spend that money. Number one, we make sure that we may give zakat. There are people who do not give zakat. Can you believe that? Two and a half percent every year on gold and silver and cash and the goods of merchandise. People do not take that out. They do not give that money. They are wasting money in lots of things, but they do not share that wealth with the poor and the needy. But then that's not it. There is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on top of zakat as well. Allah ta'ala wants that we do spend on top of zakat as well in different avenues. In the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in building the masajid and the orphanages and, and digging wells for people and, and helping people out and what not. Like and there is the right of, of Allah Ta'ala in the wealth on top of zakat. Some people they just give zakat and they think that this is it. Absolutely not. There is right of Allah Ta'ala in our wealth on top of zakat as well. So make sure that if Allah Ta'ala gives us and he does give and if Allah Ta'ala gives us a lot, make sure that we are spending. And with that, with the certainty as well, again with yaqeen, that whatever I spend, I'll, I'll get it back. And not only get it back, I'll get back many, many times more. When you, for example, somebody is in need, for example, a masjid is being constructed and you tell, you know, there is a masjid that is under construction. Why don't you also, also give your contribution in that, oh, zakat, zakat kabul karte hain do you accept zakat money? No, it's a masjid. Zakat is not used in the construction. But why are you, if you Allah Ta'ala has given you, why are you even asking this question? That means that I don't want to give more than zakat. Why not? Please, we, if we have this iman and yaqeen in al muqid there are some principles that we need to follow. And I told three. Number one, whatever Allah Ta'ala has given, make sure that we are doing shukar to whatever Allah Ta'ala has given to us. Find positives. Please make sure that we find positives. In everything there is a positive. In everything there is something positive. We are only looking at the negatives. We, are, we don't want to be al kanu. We, we don't want to be kanud. We want to be those who are maqalila min ibadi shakur. Allah Ta'ala says there are very few of my people of my servant who are always grateful. A shakur, extremely grateful, who can always find positives in everything. That is shakur. Har cheez mein positive dhunna. Allah Ta'ala says, there are very few of my people. We want to become that. We, we, we should work on ourselves to become those people who are always grateful. Find positives in everything. Honestly, in everything. In headaches, in nosebleeds, may Allah protect all of us, but in accidents, in deaths of people around us, in the situations that we see. So be grateful people and Allah Ta'ala will give us more. The Al-Muqeet will give us more, inshallah.
Number two, what did I say? Second thing I said was, make sure that the provision that we want from al muqid is, 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 we get it from the right sources. Make sure that we do not earn haram. We have to be very careful about what we earn and how we earn. How do we do with businesses? We have to investigate that. When we are filing the reimbursement form after our business trip, make sure that we are not doing any sort of, you know, it's not, there's no dishonesty there. Whatever, you know, if I have, I have, uh, I have, I have a work that, that is time, that is based on time, not based on projects. I make sure that I finish all of that. I, I work for that time. If it is from eight to five, I'm there from eight to five. If it's a project based, make sure that we are doing projects with sincerity, with honesty. That's number two. And number three? Number three, spend in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make sure that we spend in the path of Allah. And in that, number one is zakat. But it's not only zakat, it is more than zakat. Make sure that we are spending, we are generous people. And with that certainty as well, that the more that we give, the more, more, more will we get.